Friends, this is the BHEX People Expansion Device designed by Dr. Subhan Bhattacharji of Kolkata, India. And this is the BHEX 23G forceps. The device is applied with the help of this BHEX forceps and it is also removed by the same forceps. Let us see this slow motion video. This is the device. The middle tab of the leading flange is held by the BHEX forceps. And now the device is taken at the main incision and the antechamber is already filled up with visco and now see what has happened. The trailing flange is stuck in the main wound. Whenever this happens, you use the BHEX forceps to push the trailing flange in the anterior chamber again inject some visco and now use the BHEX forceps again hold the middle tab of the leading flange at 5 o'clock and tuck it under the iris and then the middle tab of the flange at 1 o'clock is held and this flange is also tucked under the iris and now some more visco is applied to make the antechamber deep and then the BX forceps is used now by the non-dominant hand and going through the side port the middle tab of the flange at 10 o'clock is held and it is tucked under the iris. So alternate flanges at 5 o'clock, 1 o'clock and 10 o'clock has been tucked. The people has taken a beautiful hexagonal shape. The anti-capsule is stained with tripan blue dye and capsulorexis is done. Whenever the antechamber becomes shallow, we can make the antechamber deep by refilling it with visco. The nucleus is managed. Cortical cleanup is then done. The antechamber as well as the capsular bag is filled up with visco. An intraocular lens is implanted in such a way that the trailing haptic goes beyond the flange which is just in front of the main wound. Once the lens is in the bag, some obisco is injected and this is how we remove the BHEX. Pull it towards the center and then go over the iris to periphery. Untuck all the flanges and then hold the BHEX just in front of the main wound and gently pull it out. This is how we can apply and remove the BHEX. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will be useful in your surgeries.